on Radio 2 BACR, the Bankstown Airways. Neville Short, good morning. Good morning, Paul. How are you? Good, mate. Thanks for coming on radio this morning. You had a great fight career and then you turned to boxing training. You've done it all, Neville. Yeah, mate. Yeah, I started when I was around seven. Um, we lived at Cardiff and a trainer there by the name of uh, Fred Eagleton was there. He trained, uh, he had his two boys, Robert and Kevin. Yeah. They were both national champions. Uh, and Kevin went on and um, he had winning the Australian Junior Lightweight title. But then from there, I, um, you know, I had 22 amateur fights. Uh, sorry, 32 amateur fights. I won the Golden Gloves in 71. Then I turned professional in November 72. Yeah, right. Geez, you had a good record, mate. You beat some good fighters. Your only loss being that your only loss was yeah, with Jeff Malcolm. Yeah, yeah, I had pleurisy that night, but I didn't know it. I was falling asleep on my way down. My father oh was just when yeah. I saw Jeff, and I, and I said, no. And, and the second, second round, I said, look, I wasn't hurt. I was just, my legs were gone. I said, I'm just tired. And then when we went back, I had a bit of blood test, and yeah, that's what came up. But no, Jeff went on. Great fight. He certainly was, Great wasn't fight. he? God, he had a lot of fights. Yes, he was, mate. Yes, he was. Yeah, geez, just looking at just looking at your record, here, that that was the only one. You had eleven wins and uh, you only lost the one. What titles? You... Well, but, yeah, I, there was one there. It was a draw, but I got a head clash. I had this guy down and he was out, and, and I was all sort of over him. He lunged up and cut me over the eye. I'm getting six stitches over the eye. The doctor pulled it up, and that was the draw. Oh, so I was pretty goodness. upset about that one. Yeah, geez, hey. But, uh, that's the way it was. So you gave boxing away, you retired in, you had a good amateur career, good professional career, you gave boxing away in 1977, and then how, how did you go straight into training fighters, or did you have a break? Uh, what I've done, I've done a bit of professional refereeing for about 18 months. Did you? And, well, yeah, my father used to promote in Newcastle, was a head promoter in Newcastle here, yeah. and uh, um, yeah, mate, he, uh, he had some good fighters there, and that's what I've done, I ended up uh, doing a bit of uh, professional refereeing, and then... I, I, once he stopped promoting, I thought there's something missing. You know, I used to do you know, road running and play squash and golf and all that sort of stuff. I was yeah. missing something. You know, my partner said, well, why don't you go start back training fights? Yeah, and right. that's what I've done. That's so, what I've done, mate. So you, did you enjoy being a referee and a judge? Was mate, it... I loved it. Yeah? Loved it. Yeah, yeah. I, I, did, I did enjoy it, actually. The, uh, I guess I was, um, I, was, I was quite all right at it, actually, because once you move around in the ring, you sort of know your, your strap sort of thing, and, yeah. you know, when you move, you keep moving, and you, you watch the punches and the breaks, all that sort of stuff was, yeah, right, it was very enjoyable for me. I yeah. loved it, you know, and that's, my partner said the other day, she said, mate, what about, what, you want to, you try the referee again? I said, no, I said, I'm a flight trainer. Yeah, you do a good job there, and your father was a fight trainer too, he, he trained he trained the great Hector uh, Thompson too, didn't he, Neville? Yes, mate, he had Hector, yeah. um, he trained the, the Hector, he taught him how to body punch and everything else, he, uh, and uh, we had some great sparring, we had Mike Perry, Mike fought Paul yeah. Moore twice, um, fought a lot of good fights, Ross Eady, um, and mate, Ross Eady. Uh, I think Paul, I mean, uh, Mike there one half, four, three, ten rounds in one week. Yeah, jeez. <laughs> that yeah. was back in the day, so, but you know, a lot of good fighters, a lot of good fighters walked up and walked up uh, our driveway, mate, into the gym, had the Mike Perez, a lot of Dario Bolio, there was Les Mitchell, but there was a lot of them, there was a lot of them, like we had Peter Berrigan, he won the Australian Junior Wallaway title, Charlie Brown uh, won the Australian Flyweight the title. Yeah, I've done hundreds of rounds with a pair of them. You know, we just just got them going, and yeah, yeah, just good fighters, mate. All, all, all great, great guys too. What in, in your garage? In your home garage? Yeah, my father had a sort of a home gym there. You know, he used to train at the PCYC at Newcastle. Yeah. And, um, and then he, he sort of just went back to the. He, he had a, gra- a a gym in the garage. That would be set up there, and then um, and he built a, like a. It's funny because it's a bit of an iconic. There was an old, he, he built an old tin shed up the backyard. And, mate, these are some good fighters right now. That was an old <laughs> bloody iron shed. Yeah. Nothing spectacular. But these are some good, good fighters right in it. And, of course, that gym's not there anymore, is it, mate? The, the gym's no, not there? No, that's right, mate. Yeah. He, he pulled it down. Yeah, right. But, and, uh, Neville, how many fighters have you trained, uh, champions? If you, I know you've trained a few. Mate, I've, um, yeah, I've been in the produced my first Australian champion in Andrew Gibbons um, within 18 months. Yeah. And I think I've trained 23 Australian champions now. Yeah. I did have um, Jamie did them. I've had a lot of others. Jamie, Jamie is a good kid. He started come to me at 12, 12 and a half. His mother brought him over to me. Um, yeah. Yeah, that's great. That's, that's interesting, that, isn't it? Yeah, we had, um, he has. 